how to set up shipping costs on Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can add and set up your shipping costs and also how you can add and create your shipping profiles. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. For instance, we need to head over to Wix.com. Then we are going to create a new site. Or you can go ahead and select one of the pre-built websites that you have, for example, or the uh, site that you have built already. So I'm going to select one of these. Then it will load up the dashboard of that specific website. Remember, guys, everything uh, in this video is created for the sake of the video and not for any personal uses. That means the accounts, the email addresses, the numbers are only made for the purpose of the video and they are not any personal accounts or numbers so once you are on the admin dashboard of that specific website we're going to set up the shipping how we can add and set up the shipping we're going to see here at the left side bar or the left side menu then we are going to scroll down until we see here the settings click on settings then we are going to get the general menu and etc. So we are going to see here for the shipping and fulfillment. We're going to select it. Now we are going to see here the different shipping methods that we have. As you can see, we have a domestic and an international shipping. So you can go ahead and add some shipping regions by clicking on this button. Then we are going to add the shipping here, how it is calculated. So we are going to add, for example, a destination. So maybe we are going to set up here the destination like France. I'm going to type in France. And this is the destination. You can go ahead and add maybe Europe or it is not available or international. It is not available. So you can go ahead and add whatever you want from uh, these uh, regions. Now you are free to add whatever and how many regions that you want. Then we are going to head over the shipping. We have here the uh, how the shipping is going to be calculated. We have a menu. We have free shipping, flat rate, rate by weight, rate by price, and rate by product. So these four are going to be paid or are going to be calculated for the first one obviously it is going to be zero or free so we are going to set up here a flat rate or you can go ahead and add a rate uh, rate by weight so it depends on your choice here the rate by weight is going to weigh all of the items uh, depending on the weight that you have put on the description it will calculate it and then it will give a, a gross price so we are going to add uh, the first thing is a uh, flat rate since I don't have uh, any information about the weight of my products. So for the shipping option name, you are going to put it here, for example, standard shipping. So here the estimated delivery time, which is optional. And I see that we cannot let it here empty because we need to add, for example, uh, from five to seven days, business days, business days, for example. Then for the rate, you are going to put the flat amount right here. So let's say that we are going to put it here $25 or $20. Uh, this is the uh, currency of the local or the region local of the uh, website so it doesn't matter you can go ahead and, and uh, sample this to offer free shipping when a customer buys over a certain amount for example 300 or I don't know you can add another shipping method right there into this specific one and you can add a handling fee right there of the order for example five I'm going to add it five dollars just in case and here we have made the shipping and the flat rate you can also go ahead and click on save to make sure that everything is set. And here we have the region. You can edit that region by adding, for example, a local delivery. You can add a local delivery. 
and also you can add a pickup point for the local delivery you can go ahead and add the uh, delivery rate and also you can go ahead and set up these by areas so when you finish all of this you're going to click on save and you will see here all of the shipping profiles that you have set now when finishing after the shipping regions you're going to add the fulfillment service so if you have an integrated fulfillment service like for example d or uh, amazon multi-channel fulfillment you're going to add it right there but if you are going to add it here um, manually for example you can forward your orders by email set emails to notify any supplier or distribution center how new orders about the new orders you can add a fulfiller or you can add or use the third party or their apps so i'm going maybe to add a fulfiller then i'm going to put the email address of them the name of them and select when an email is sent to the service when order is paid placed and i will send email myself for the order page it is up to you when you finish all of this you're going to click on save and continue then you are going to be good to go if you have a, for example uh, some providers or third party or their um, fulfillers you're going to visit them for example these years i don't know we have also i think cj drop shipping and aliexpress and etc so you can add them by navigating through the app market and here we have it the most important thing after having the shipping set you're going to add the payment methods so here we are going to add maybe a payment method. You are going to select here the country that you are in and how we can go ahead and receive the payment. We have Stripe, we have PayPal, manual payments, and also more uh, manual or automatic right here uh, payment options. So you are going to add one of them or uh, multiple of them, of them. Here we have uh, until three options then we are going to be good to go. I have forgot to mention something about the shipping. So let's say here that we have here the shipping and fulfillment set, but we are going to make our contract with a provider for shipping or a shipping company like UPS or uh, FedEx. So you are going to set up here a flat rate or you can go ahead and modify this. For example, I'm going to see here the um, discard changes i'm going to visit the international here uh, shipping then we are going to add here for example a rate by weight then you are going to calculate the rates name them and put them and these rates are going to be here compatible with the uh, rates that the carrier has provided you with for example for each one of the delivering company or shipping companies like DHL, UPS, FedEx, uh, have their list of the, um, let's say here, charges, your go and fees. You're going to simply add those, calculate and make a mid-range or let's say here near coasting range for that price of the shipping. So you will not lose onto the international shipping and also the customers will be satisfied, satisfied a little bit about the shipping cost that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i'll see you soon on the next one